CCTV footage has captured the moment a killer took his 13-year-old victim's Xbox after savagely beating him, his mother, his sister and her friend to death with a claw hammer. Damien Bendel, 32, left his pregnant girlfriend Terry Harris's home with her son John Paul Bennett's games console, the morning after murdering them, raping and killing John's sister Lacey Bennett, 11, and killing her friend 11-year-old Connie Gent. The drug-fueled brute was filmed leaving her home in Killamarsh, Derbyshire just before 6 a.m. on September 19 last year, after the quadruple murdered the night before, for which Bendel was jailed for life today. Bendel booked a cab to Sheffield and CCTV shows him entering the vehicle with the Xbox in a carrier bag, which he later traded for drugs, leaving his victims dead in the house, Derby Crown Court heard. He told the cab driver that his night was not too bad, a bit mad, and when asked what he had been up to he replied, just chilling with family, really, the court heard. Just before 6 a.m. you left the house with John's Xbox. Exchanged the Xbox for cocaine. You told the taxi driver you'd been chilling with the family, the judge told Bendel as he sentenced him to his whole life behind bars. The CCTV shows the cab driving away from Terry Harris's home. Another piece of CCTV footage from later that morning shows Bendel exiting the cab with the Xbox in the carrier bag and walking down a street. The killer would later tell police he had consumed three to four bags of cocaine and then blacked out. CCTV footage from later that morning shows Bendel emerging from a cab without the bag containing the Xbox and returning to the property. Another piece of CCTV shows the depraved killer entering a newsagent's holding a handful of change where he buys cigarettes from behind the counter and then leaves. He was later arrested and told footage released by police shows him saying I'm going back to prison again and I've murdered four people, appearing unconcerned about the horror he had caused. The judge said he told police, that you don't usually get four murders in Killamarsh do you? Well five as my missus was having a baby. In court this afternoon Judge Sweeney showed little belief in Bendel's pathetic attempt to explain away the killings by claiming he had a brain injury, something his own lawyer said no tests had proved. His drug use was also not accepted as a mitigating factor. The judge told him, you have a significant background of violent offending. In April 2020 you began a relationship with Terry Harris which became abusive and controlling, distancing Terry from her family. On September 18, you carried out a brutal and vicious assault on a defenseless woman and three children. You attacked Lacey downstairs and carried her upstairs where you raped her on the bed where her mother had been killed as her life ebbed away. Giving his reaction to the whole life order handed to Damien Bendel, the deputy chief crown prosecutor for the East Midlands, Andrew Baxter, said, It is hard to put into words the scale of Damien Bendel's barbaric and horrifying actions. I would also like to thank my dedicated legal team who worked tirelessly on the case to ensure this offender won't harm anyone else. Earlier Lacey and John's father Jason told of his agony he could never again kiss them and tell them I love them. And their grandmother and Terry's mother Angela Smith said, I told John and Lacey there were no such thing as monsters. How wrong I was. Bendel had previously tried to plead guilty to manslaughter by diminished responsibility, but it was refused by the prosecution. At Derby Crown Court this morning he finally admitted murder and raping schoolgirl Lacey during the attack on September 18 last year. Prosecutor Lewis Madley KC said Bendel, who once boasted about killing a dog with a brick, murdered each victim in a different room in the house with a claw hammer. He said Lacey was raped as she lay dying, adding, the circumstances are truly hideous. Terry was in the early stages of pregnancy. It appears the defendant went around the house looking for them and attacking them each in turn. These were brutal, vicious and cruel attacks on a defenseless woman and three young children. The defendant attacked them using a claw hammer which he used to hit them over the head and on the upper body. It was perfectly clear none of the victims stood a chance. Bendel was arrested outside the house shortly after 7.39 a.m. on September 19 after his mother had rung 999 telling them he had reported stabbing himself. Body-worn video showed Bendel, who had two superficial knife wounds, calmly telling police, I've murdered four people. Officers asked him, 
do you think you've killed your family inside their house? Bendel replied, no. I have, killed them. There's one in the bathroom, two upstairs and one in another bedroom. Audio of the police search of the house was then played in court, with a male officer's voice catching with emotion as he said, they're gone, they're gone. They're all gone. After his arrest, Bendel told officers at Ripley Police Station, the whole house is covered in claret. I used the hammer. I didn't realize what I did until I walked into my room and saw my missus and my daughter. He then added, bet you don't usually get four murders in Kilimarsh do you, well, five, murders, because my missus was having a baby. Mr. Mabley told Mr. Justice Sweeney that a whole life order was necessary in the case because of the exceptional high level of seriousness, adding Bendel himself had agreed such an order was appropriate. Vanessa Marshall K.C. said her client, who has maintained having no memory of the event, agreed he should be handed a whole life order. She said, his actions that night remain largely inexplicable and motiveless. She added that he had been happy about the forthcoming pregnancy, which would have been Bendel's first child.